Astronaut Scott Kelly holds the record for the longest consecutive amount of time spent in space by an American. He'll be returning to Earth next week. It is an honor to welcome back Commander Scott Kelly to CBSN. Commander, let me first ask you, what are you most excited to do when you get back home? Yeah, the first thing is just being around the, the people that you miss and that are important to you and, and spending time with them. Uh, you know, after that, and I think I might jump in, uh, jump in my pool or take a shower. <laughs> so, but I've read in interviews that you're not really climbing the walls to leave space. So what will you miss most about being up there? You know, I, I'm a big believer in what we're doing here. Um, I believe in the importance of flying in space and, uh, you know, the research we do, uh, I believe in exploration, and I will miss being on the front lines of that, uh, that endeavor, I guess. And, uh, you know, on the one hand, I look forward to going home, but it's something that has uh, been a big part of my life, and uh, I'm going to miss it. Yeah, we're certainly going to miss you up there. Uh, part of what NASA was hoping to do is to run some tests on the human body while your brother Mark Kelly is on the ground and you're up in the air. Uh, so how many tests do you have to do on a daily basis? How many fluid samples do you have to submit? Like on a scale of 1 to 10, describe the intensity of the tests. You know, it, it varies from day to day, uh, day to day, and like today, as an example, which is a big day for those kind of samples, I took, uh, took my own blood, stuck uh, the needle in my own arm, which we do. It kind of saves crew time. It's actually easier. Wow. I did, uh, I think, uh, eight blood tubes. I've been collecting my urine all day and uh, saliva in the morning. Uh, on other days, we might do uh, ultrasound exams. Um, uh, uh, psychological tests, so it, it, it varies depending on, you know, what, what week, what month. You know, uh, may, a lot of people may not know that you, as well as your brother, were naval fighter pilots. I had a chance to fly with the Blue Angels recently, which was a thrill of my life, and when we went vertical, I've never had a feeling like that. Describe what it was like for you in a Tomcat or Hornet versus going into space. You know, there are... Uh, the F-14 that I flew, I flew the F-18 a little bit, but mostly the, uh, the F-14, it was an amazing airplane. Um, I really miss flying it. Uh, you know, flying in space and, you know, riding a rocket into space and coming back to Earth is kind of an extension of that. It's a, uh, you know, kind of like an order of magnitude uh, more extreme, but you don't get to do it very often, unlike, you know, when I was younger flying those airplanes. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so we all saw this crazy video of you in the gorilla suit. I think we think it's you um, in the gorilla suit. So two things. Uh, did your brother put you up to it? And you actually packed a gorilla suit in your gear, which is incredible. <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting when you vacuum pack something, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, it was his idea, but, uh, you know, I, I embraced it because, you know, for one, when you try to get kids' attention and, and teach them about science and math and engineering and things like that, the first thing you have to do is get their attention. And nothing gets people's attention like a gorilla in space. So I think it's going to be, uh, I, I think I'm going to use that, uh, that video for a long time to come with, uh, with kids. Well, you had the Benny Hill music, which was awesome. And in fact, to that point, uh, my nephews, Gabriel and Oliver, are huge fans, especially after seeing that video. So that message resonates with them. All right. Commander Scott Kelly aboard the International Space Station. Thank you very, very much, sir. We appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you back on Earth. Yeah, look forward to seeing you there. All right, sir.